And cut. Uh, we get it? I think so. All right, great. Just make sure the Cobra Kai snake comes in at the end, all right? I want it to really pop. Make a chrome. And throw Thunderstruck under it. I'm pretty sure the rights for that song will cost too much. No, I already own it. Cassette's in the car. Oh, and put one of those hash browns at the end, you know, like hash brown team Cobra Kai or something. And then send it to the internet! Okay, okay. Now that I have your attention, hear me out. It's not that Cobra Kai sucks. I mean, it has its moments. Nice shirt. Thanks. I'm joking, it sucks. But I'm a huge fan of not Cobra Kai, but The Karate Kid. Karate Kid has always been my favorite movie. It's a movie that I not only have personal connections with, but for me, The Karate Kid has a home style feel to it. A feeling that a, only a movie made in the 80s could really bring. Karate Kid was originally conceived by writer Robert Mark Carmen. The story of Karate Kid is based more in reality than you think. At the age of 17, Carmen was attacked by a gang of bullies after the 1964 New York's World Fair. After being attacked by these bullies, Carmen knew he needed to defend himself. So he tried to learn martial arts, but was unhappy with his first teacher who taught him martial arts as a tool for violence and revenge. Carmen eventually found a teacher who didn't speak English, but studied traditional Okinawan karate from the late great Chojun Miyagi. At the time, Carmen found a news article about a kid of a single mother who had earned a black belt to help defend himself against bullies. Carmen approached director John G. Alvaldson, who was famous for directing the critical acclaimed Rocky, and the rest was history. Karate Kid was released in 1984 to positive reception. It was one of the biggest movies of 1984, but also Hollywood's biggest sleeper hit of that year. And it stole the hearts of American cinema and brought karate into the mainstream. The success of Karate Kid launched the careers of Ralph Macchio, who played Daniel LaRusso, and William Zapka, who played Johnny Lawrence. Karate Kid was a hit with crowds because of its underdog story. Fans loved the Karate Kid and its fan base lived on for years spanning multiple spinoffs. But for any Karate Kid fan, there was one video that would change Karate Kid forever. The Karate Kid is the story of Daniel, a violent sociopath who moves to a California town and begins tormenting a local boy and his friends. In late August, the video was posted titled, Daniel is the Real Villain. This video had many fans question who was the true protagonist of Karate Kid, Johnny or Daniel. This idea existed three years before Cobra Kai was even thought of and received over 10 million views. But most importantly, it got Karate Kid fans excited and speculating again. Cobra Kai was released in May of 2018 to critical acclaim. Cobra Kai is a continuation of the original Karate Kid, but this time we see things from Johnny's perspective. And now that I've told you the story of Karate Kid and the bare bones story of Cobra Kai, let me get back to the title of this video. Cobra Kai obviously doesn't suck. I mean, I'm actually a huge fan. Being a fan of the Karate Kid and growing up watching all three original films, I can only appreciate Cobra Kai from a nostalgic perspective. While the show has many of the original characters and continues its storylines, the relatability of Karate Kid is gone to me. Everything in Cobra Kai just seems so ridiculous and the humor is extremely meta. A little creepy. Okay, sending her this would be like if you... Like if you liked all of her photos. Oh no. Oh no! While problems like social media are used heavily in today's bullying, what made the original story so special to me was the reality of it. I can relate to young Daniel. He's just a kid trying to fit in. But as soon as he gets too comfortable, this happens. Oh, you started this. All I wanted to do was talk to you. How about you, hero? You have enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, man. Days go by and you can feel the fear Daniel has. If you've ever been bullied in real life, you know the feeling of wanting to avoid your bully. And all of this gets even more out of hand when Daniel realizes Johnny is a student of karate. I don't get this same feeling from watching Cobra Kai. The same feeling of fear and determination. The same feeling of angst and dedication. Cobra Kai doubles down on the goofiness that wasn't as nearly present in Karate Kid. As a fan, this upsets me. Especially when you learn the original story was based on reality. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I hate Cobra Kai. I've seen every episode and I can't wait for season 5. I love Cobra Kai. I just miss the nostalgia of the original. 
And while I can be biased all I want and miss the emotions I felt when I watched the original growing up, the fact that a new generation will not only have their own Karate Kid, but be able to have their own Karate Kid story and learn that karate depends more on the reason you want to learn it than you think. What about to kick somebody's ass? Sorry, kid, old hat.